was pretty incredible and it damaged some homes in Camas. A lot of homeowners there even filed claims with the city hoping to get some help. That's because most homeowners insurance policies don't cover flooding from extreme weather. Chris Holmstrom asking the tough question. He's live tonight. A lot of folks don't know that, Chris. That's right, they don't. You know, and the root of the problem actually comes from the storm drain you've seen from behind me. It was clogged with debris, and that's what caused the intense flooding. Now, if you look right over here, you can still see some of the waste tonight. Now, the city says the debris accumulated during the storm, while other residents say that it was there long before the rain. You're looking at floodwaters taking over Camas, turning this parking lot into a lake. The whole entire street is flooded. That water went on to pour into Debbie Hensley's basement, causing at least $10,000 in damage. So all the windows are wet and all the drywall in here is wet. The smell, another story. Debbie blames it on the storm drain up the hill. So that whole pipe had to have been blocked in order for the water to rise probably, you know, hip level and then jump the street. And that's exactly what it did. So there's no way they maintain that thing. These pictures taken after the storm. You can see tires, a basketball, and even wood chunks that were cleaned out of the drain. They're saying that they maintained it two weeks ago, that this is a freak act of nature, and that it couldn't have been prevented. When was the last time this storm drain was cleaned? The storm drain was, com was cleaned on September 23rd. Pete Capel is a city administrator. He says Saturday afternoon the city was hit with more than three inches of rain, washing the debris into the pipe. Said, is it fair for the residents to pay for the damages since it's the city who maintains the storm drain? The way it works is that, you know, I empathize um, and I actually hope that the claims adjuster will find that um, will help them out. But as he says, it's ultimately up to the claims adjuster. In the meantime, it's a waiting game for Debbie. And back out here live, the woman in this story says she's also working with State Representative Liz Pike in hopes of resolving this issue. Of course, we'll let you know what happens. Reporting live in Camas, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin6 News. Okay, great information, Chris. And a viewer tipped us off to this story. So do you have a tip for the Coin6 News team? Send the information to report it at coin.com or click on the Report It tab on our mobile app. Well,